I finally got my hands on indigo powder. I'm going to show you how to use henna and indigo and how to mix it together as well. I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. This is my actually first time of using indigo powder and ciao. I hope I did do well. Aka. So keep on watching. Aka. Welcome back lovelies to my channel. Please give my video a big thumbs up before we get right into it. So this is Amalaki Indian Gooseberry, which is Amla powder. Okay, so this is the Amla powder I actually bought on eBay. Um, so I'll be using, uh, that is one third of a cup of Amla. And I'm going to use another, another third of a cup. Because you guys, as, as I've told you before, that I will be using my Amla powder. That is the main ingredient in my uh, Ayurvedic powders, okay? So, I'll also be using my henna as well. Henna powder actually helps as well, guys, to repair damaged hair. If you have, like, cracks in your hair or you have, like, openings in your cuticles, it actually helps to seal up all those cracks i'll be using also fenugreek powder okay because fenugreek actually helps hair to thicken up and also reduces and stops hair loss so i'll be using these three powders you guys um and also i'll be using organic coconut cream i really love coconut cream because it makes my ayurvedic powders to be very appliable and it also makes it to be very slippery okay so it's gonna be easy to apply on the hair so i'm just going to mix it up very very well you guys because you don't want your powders to be hard to apply so it's very important to mix it well so i'm going to be putting my coconut cream in there now if you don't like coconut okay you can also use yogurt greek yogurt to be precise you can use greek yogurt if you don't have greek yogurt you can also use a hair butter just melt it up and use the hair butter okay so i'll be using more of the coconut cream i did not measure i was just putting in and i'm uh, mixing it together okay. so this is what it's looking like because i was used i used the henna before and i did not use any indigo so my hair has got tints of light brownish um, if I'm in the sun and I don't really like that color in my hair So that's why I chose to use indigo powder in my hair. So Actually, I left it to sit overnight. This is what it's looking like So I'm just gonna go ahead the next day to apply to add in my indigo powder Okay, guys now what indigo does if it's mixed together with henna, it's going to help to darken your hair okay so the more of the indigo that you put in the darker your hair okay guys so i'm just gonna go on and add i actually think i i strained my powder yes i actually strained the powder before adding in the indigo that's why you see that the powder is very smooth you have to you have to uh, make sure that you are you are straining your powders because you don't want those particles in your hair all right so i did not um measure the indigo powder okay i just added it in there um i'm sorry about that you guys i did not measure okay and i'm going to put in hot water in a bowl okay and i'm going to do my double boiler method uh, because i really want the indigo to release its nutrients before i actually start using it okay so that's what i did so this is what it's looking like it's very dark this is what it must look like you guys it must be dark especially when you put in the indigo uh in it as well but because i used other powders i don't think um the darkness that it's giving it must be actually dark like a bluish color if you're actually using the indigo on its own it will be like a bluish dark color but because i have other powders uh, in it it's not gonna be that dark okay so i'm just going to be adding it on freshly washed hair i really love adding my ayurvedic powders on freshly washed hair because 
you really want it to penetrate in your hair now you guys as i've told you before i love doing my treatments when i have my mini braids i really love doing that because it really helps okay uh there's not too much manipulation on the actual strands because your hair is already in a protective style so i really love doing this you guys now i'm also going to pay attention to my edges because i'm trying to regrow them back so i'll just add that uh henna and indigo on my edges but when i did this treatment my hair was super strengthened you guys it was super strengthened these ayurvedic powders they are powerful okay guys especially if you're using them on a consistent basis left my henna to infuse overnight okay and then i added my indigo after so i don't know whether it's the one step um application or is the second step application i don't really know Aga. <laughs> all right guys so i'm just applying that and making sure that i'm also getting my scalp i'm also getting my scalp because you guys this is goodness okay you really want to get onto that scalp because that's where your hair is coming out from and also the ends of the hair the ends are very important guys do not forget your ends because that's how you're going to retain length as you can see i pay attention to my ends every once a month or you can do it once every two months because it's a very powerful treatment henna it's very very powerful so you don't want to be using it like every week or twice a week Cha. But for Amla, I actually use it once a week now, okay? So with Amla, I use it once every week and it's working really well for me. I am low porosity hair and it's working perfectly. So you just have to find out what works for your hair. But this is my henna and uh, indigo powder on hair.